your children so this uh, new video is now on agriculture the cash crops okay as you have seen in the earlier video i have uh, uploaded a few questions mcqs and all uh, related to the food crops now let's start with it without wasting any single minute first of all very short answer questions which is the best method of growing sugarcane and why retoon cropping retoon cropping you all must have studied aapne shayad wo padha bhi hoga jab aap sugarcane cultivation ke bare mein aap pad rahe hoge retoon cropping is the best method of growing sugarcane because this method is labor saving okay so it's money saving number 2 it decreases cost of production right and matures early right always it matures early it takes less time in uh, harvesting right so this this is why this is the uh, answer of it next question which type of soil is required for growing sugarcane sugarcane can be grown well in well drained medium loamy soils or rich clay like loamy or lava soils okay define the term molasses it is a kind of dark brown syrup that drains from sugar during the process of manufacture it is used to produce industrial alcohol okay fertilizers rum yeast and even you know these days we are using a lot sanitizers okay so for all these things molasses are you uh, molasses is one by product of the sugar industry which is used for all these things okay clear next is which city has been selected for research in sugarcane crop uh for this you should remember one name sugarcane research institute okay that has been established in coimbatore right where uh, various researches are done in this regard for the cultivation of sugarcane for the latest uh, seeds which we are getting the you know, hybrid seeds which are giving us more production so all these researches are done regarding this okay next question which state of india is the leading producer of groundnut it is gujarat right mention four main uses of groundnuts it is used for vanaspati ghee or the the you can say edible oil the cooking oil which is used uh, taken out from it number 2 it is used for making soap and all right soap margarine and all number 3 it is eaten raw or um, by uh, हम लोग मूंगफली अक्सर जो है व्रत में या कोई वेरियस डिशेज आर मेड आउट ऑफ इट राइट सो इट इज जस्ट इटन रॉ बाय कुकिंग और बाय रॉ बाय रोस्टिंग आल्सो वी यूज इट देन इट्स ऑयल केक दैट इज अगेन वन इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट चिल्ड्रन ऑयल केक ऑयल केक इज व्हेन द ऑयल इज एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द मटीरियल लाइक एनी ऑयल सीड इज देयर वेन द ऑयल इज एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम इट द लेफ्ट आउट पार्ट generally is very good for the cattle feed right these all if if the edible oil, uh, oil we are getting so all that will be used by the cattle for uh, as cattle feed right the oil cake can be used but a few non edible oil seeds are there which are then not providing any oil cake for the cattle feed right so here yahan par hum baat kare moongfli ki तो मूंगफली का जो लेफ्ट आउट पार्ट होता है दैट एक्चुअली फॉर्म्स एन इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट कैटल फीड राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है नेम द टाइप ऑफ सॉइल आइडियल फॉर द कल्टीवेशन ऑफ कॉटन कॉटन के कल्टीवेशन के लिए बेस्ट टाइप ऑफ सॉइल विच इज सीन एज लाइट वेल ड्रेन्ड अल्यूवियल सॉइल ओके रिच इन लाइम और ब्लैक लावा सॉइल दैट्स वाई इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी कॉमनली नोन एज ब्लैक कॉटन सॉइल because it is considered as the best quality soil what we can get in india okay the sticky black soil of peninsular india is ideal for its cultivation next one is mention the methods in which cotton is sown and the months in which it is harvested cotton is sown during uh, april and uh, april to august right that is a um, uh, long duration it is uh, it depends on the condition of that area right it can be from april if it is uh, sown so harvesting will be a little early if it is sown late in any area the harvesting will be naturally it will shift to um, little you can say a few months back right so cotton is sown from april to august that is the period and is harvested between october to march right 
So these are the months for important for it. Mention the states where cotton is produced. Cotton is produced basically in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra, Tamil Nadu, and Madhya Pradesh. These are the leading states for it. But the first uh, state which is producing it or the leading state for it is the Gujarat and then Maharashtra, right? Then come to next, explain the term ginning. Again, ginning is an important term, children. Ye kuch aise terms hai, like ginning hai, pruning hai, fir, uh, return cropping hai. Ye kuch aise terms hai, vachu, jo aap logo prepare karna bohat zaruri hai. Okay? Kis crop se related hai, ye bhi zaruri hai, yaad karna. Retting hai. Is type ki kuch terms aapko milenge, jab aap ye chapters padhoge, agriculture se related. related. So in, in terms, you can prepare it very prepare right? Ginning is a simple process of collecting and separating. Actually, the fibers, the cotton jo pods, when we separate the seeds from the seeds, that is the process called ginning. Okay? Seeds or cotton pod, jo cotton fiber, when we separate it, that is called actually ginning. Okay? Next question, why cotton balls must be picked immediately? Cotton balls must be picked immediately. Otherwise, there is a risk of cotton being ruined by rain, fog, dust, pest. These are the common things. In certain areas, frost condition, if it is going to happen, it is predicted. So there, it is totally in danger because cotton immediately gets affected by that, right? Its quality immediately goes down, right? So these are conditions. In conditions, se bachane ke liye, Cotton pods, hum kya karte? cotton balls, jaise hi humne wahan se harvest kiya, waise hi immediately they are taken away. Then next is why is jute called golden fiber? Ek aur bahut important question yaha ye hai. Golden fiber hum ise kyun bolte hain? Ek to iska color bhi wahi hai, right? Jute is called as golden fiber because of its color. Color is actually golden brown color. Uh, you can say that is the color of this uh, jute fiber. And its high cash value also makes it important. Economically, if you will see, this is actually growing up very fast. So it's a, it's a rich source of income for our country. So these two things uh, actually are the reasons why jute is also termed as golden fiber. Next, how is jute fiber obtained? Jute fiber is obtained from the inner bark of the jute plant, right? Which is soft and strong and can be drawn out in good lengths. A coarse fabric is woven from this fiber, right? Now for that, retting is a process which is done just before that when we get the, the fibers separated from it. And what is retting now? You can see in the next question it's given. Explain briefly what is meant by the term retting. Retting, rotting. Okay, you can relate these terms. Retting is simply the method by which the jute fiber is removed from the stem. How it is removed? Usko bohat sare pani mein, jab usko, it is submerged in the flowing water for 20, 25 days or a month, right? Then it is, uh, it actually, the fibers get separated in that, okay? And then it is dried in open, okay, in the sun. So under sunlight, if you will see, when it is dried, all the fibers can easily be seen there, which get separated from each other. Okay, so this is how the fibers are taken out. And this process is called retting. It's just like rotting. It is left um, there in water for uh, rotting, right? So the, it, it's uh, just the similar term. that That's why I'm uh, actually telling you retting, rotting. Okay, next is uh, mesta. What do you understand by the term mesta? Mesta, again, a substitute product of jute. It's not jute, but it is quite similar to that. And it is, you know, it's a little inferior quality than jute, right? And it is it is having a coarser fiber for uh, the making the jute bags, the gunny bags and all, okay? Or the sack, which we use, bore vagera jo hum use karte hain, uske liye. So inferior, uh, it's uh, inferior quality makes it actually less important, but yes, it is stronger. Okay, it is, uh, you can say, it's more durable than jute. And it tolerates drier conditions also. And it's grown in more or less in the same areas as that of the jute. Okay, then next mention the areas where jute is cultivated. Jute cultivation is an important condition. Ye hai 
यहाँ जूट कल्टीवेशन के लिए हेवी रेनफॉल रिक्वायर्ड है द वॉटर शुड रिमेन ऑन द सर्फेस फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम स्टैगनेंट वॉटर शुड बी देर राइट स्टैगनेंट वॉटर होने के लिए अब आप सोच के बताओ वॉट टाइप ऑफ सॉइल इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट Yes, alluvial soil is important, but alluvial of what type? What nature? Clay content should be there. Or, आप पूरे northern plains में आप देखो कौन से area में ये सारी conditions fulfill होती हैं. We are getting very high temperature. We are getting heavy rainfall. Okay, and we are getting clay content in the alluvial soil. So, if you think of it, we are getting just the eastern side of it. That is, you can say West Bengal, Odisha, right? A part of Assam. so that is the area for growing jute okay jute cultivation is done maximum in these states clear now to is tarah se bachcho aapko relate karni hongi cheeze ki kahan par ye ho sakta hai suppose har cheez learn karna it's it's uh, really very difficult okay to aapko kuch kuch cheeze kahin na kahin relate karke samajhni padenge ki isse related kahan par kya ho sakta hai okay acha now let's uh, come back to the uh, the topic mention the ranking of india in the world for producing raw jute india ranks yes second in the production of jute right what are the principal operations involved in the preparation of marketable tea tea ke uh, preparation ke liye for to actually um, send it to the market for that what are the processes required the the different stages of it number one is plucking or picking plucking means the when initially when we take out the leaves right very fine small um, tender leaves are taken away from the tea plants okay that is called plucking or picking next is withering withering rolling fermenting drying cutting grading branding tasting and packing these are the different stages in which the tea leaves are actually passed and till the time it reaches to packing stage that is ready for to be sold out in the market to be sent actually to for the export purpose or to the the you can say domestic market okay next which state in india is the largest producer of tea which state in india is the largest producer for that you can say assam is the largest producer of tea and accounts for more than 50% of the tea produced in india okay mention the countries where tea is exported for that you should remember indian tea is exported to 80 countries of the world but our main customers are uk usa russia sudan afghanistan usa all these are the um, leading uh, you can say uh, the countries which are actually importing the tea from us okay then state any two factors that favor the growth of tea in assam mountain slope is there and temperate conditions temperate climate with the you can say rainfall heavy rainfall and mountain slope all these conditions fulfill the requirement for uh, the tea cultivation and that's why it is done mostly towards the northeast that is you can say assam a part of west bengal okay mountainous regions of uh, west bengal so these are the important areas now come to short answer questions right mention the conditions necessary for growing sugar cane ya climatic conditions agar puchte hain to climatic conditions mein aapko temperature rainfall dono dena hoga 25 to 30 degrees centigrade and 100 to 150 cm of rainfall okay it's a tropical country a tropical uh, crop okay sugar cane is essentially a tropical plant that means what that means it needs it grows well in the tropical type of conditions that means temperature should remain almost throughout uh, in a higher range okay and rainfall should be uh, just like what we get in the tropical regions 100 to 150 cm or a little more can do plenty of water is needed during the time of growth okay if rainfall is less in any area artificial irrigation is provided right number 2 state to disadvantages of ratoon cropping ab uske disadvantages kya hai us method ke is method mein kya hota hai it yields thinner canes because jo pehle jo whatever existing canes were there okay un canes se hum log jo hai chhota sa piece nikal lete hain the lower uh, actually you can say the part which is there 
covering the root and all, right? Very close to that. You will uh, see that that is actually belonging to the earlier uh, crop. Now that is again sown in the in the uh, soil to get a new crop out of it from the nodes and internodes are there. Na? So from the nodes generally it is expected that a new crop will come. Okay. So is me kya ho hai? One crop actually is giving the earlier uh, harvest has been done and the next one again is growing from the same crop. So naturally its quality gets affected. Right? Next crop jo bhi hum grow karte hai, following this method always it gives less production or it is having low sugar content which is actually the main thing which we need from it. Okay. Then there are always increased um, risk for the pest and um, you can say several diseases and all because that crop becomes a little weaker. Clear? Next question is name some byproducts of sugarcane and their uses. Byproducts kya ho sakte hain? Aapne ye bohat achche se chapter mein padha hua hai. Byproducts hain. Teen main byproducts yaan par hote hain. Molasses, then bagas and press mud. Okay. Molas is a liquid. It is used to produce industrial alcohol and all. Right? Bagas. Bagas is used as a fuel for mills and mainly used for paper, fiber, wood and synthetic fibers and all. Then press mud. Press mud is actually, it is used as fuel for mills. Then it uh, press mud is used to make wax, shoe polish, carbon paper, right? Then um, um, you can say varnish and all. These are made out of it. So these are the different byproducts of uh, sugarcane and their uses, right? Now come to next. Mention the conditions necessary for the growth of groundnut. Groundnut thrives best in areas where temperature ranges from 22 to 28 degrees centigrade. Okay. So again, temperatures are going high. And rainfall should be 50 to 75 centimeters. Means rainfall is going low. Clear? So groundnut plants grow best in sandy soils. Sandy soil. It should not hold water any uh, for even uh, some time. Because that will immediately harm the crop. Okay. Then warm coastal areas with high humidity are ideal places for its growth. Next question. What are the geographical conditions necessary for cultivation of groundnuts? Geographical conditions. Geographical conditions may have climate. We mentioned karogi, temperature rainfall. As well as if anything important about the soil. If anything important about any other uh, uh, thing which is influencing the the uh, production of groundnut in that area. So all that will be uh, taken under this. Groundnuts require basically 20 to 25 degrees centigrade temperature. Okay, or 28 degrees centigrade temperature, you can say. Then light to moderate rainfall, at least 40 centimeters of rainfall. Right? Minimum, it should be 40. For groundnut, red, yellow, and black soil of the peninsular region is suitable. It is generally grown in dry and subtropical climate. Right? Then the next question is give three uses of groundnuts. Groundnut oil is used for cooking. Okay. And in the manufacturing of soaps and candles and all. Number two, oil cake is used as a cattle feed. Number three, being a leguminous plant, it is one of the important uh, plants which are used for, um, you can say, um, the crop rotation. Right? Crop rotation is actually a, a method by which we uh, we grow different type of crops one after the other in the same field, right? And there one leguminous plant, if it is there, leguminous plant we are talking of here is the groundnut, right? So if we grow a plant in the or grow a crop, then what happens? Leguminous plants are basically known for nitrogen fixing, okay? They give back the nitrogen content in the soil. So, eight to in the use you work, they are giving back the nitrogen. Number two is that the production equally we are getting there. Right? So, both the things are going side by side. Okay? So, these are the main uses of um, groundnut. Then mention the conditions necessary for growth of cotton. Cotton ke liye kya conditions required at 20 to 35 degrees centigrade. Temperature is going a little higher than that. Then rainfall 80 to 120 centimeters. Black soil is best for it. Cotton is a tropical plant again, just like sugarcane, it is also a tropical plant. In areas where the precipitation is insufficient, cotton can be grown with the help of irrigation. 
Okay, during the period of growth of cotton plant, there should be abundant sunshine. Right. Next question: In what way does the cotton industry contribute to the economy of India? Mentioning three relevant factors, cotton industry um, is a, actually a major foreign exchange earner for India. Okay. Number two, it provides employment to a large section of the people. Directly or indirectly, they are actually attached with it. Number three, supports a large number of industries like chemical, packaging, material, etc. Okay. Next, I mention some uses of jute. Jute ke kuch uses. Jute needs. Uh, jute actually is uh, used to make uh, the the uh, you can say jute bags. Then sacks are uh, made out of it. Then carpets, rough carpets are made out of it. Okay. Then uh, nowadays uh, the clothes are also. Um, form, actually, these are also made out of it. Then uh, it is also used for making furnishing material, right? Shopping bags, etc. So these are the main uses of jute. What are the conditions necessary for the growth of jute plant? Jute needs a hot and damp climate. This we discussed in the earlier part. It grows best in areas having a minimum temperature of 27 degrees centigrade. Matlab, high temperature range chahiye hota hai jute ke liye. And even rainfall also. The rainfall should range between 170 to 250 centimeters. So uh, these are the conditions required for jute cultivation. Then plenty of water is also required for processing after harvesting the plant. Right. So for that, standing or stagnant water is required. Next is why is jute called the brown uh, paper of the wholesale trade? Jute is called brown paper bag of wholesale trade due to the widespread use of uh, jute fabric for wrapping bales of cotton and wool and rice, wheat, sugar, pulses, fertilizers, and cement in sacks. Right? Then come to next question. State the processes involved in producing tea for export. Plucking is done skillfully by using two leaves and a bud method. Okay, that is called picking. One term has been given to that. Number two, withering is done by spreading tea leaves to remove moisture. Totally, the moisture is uh, taken away. Number three is rolling is done to break the leaves. Okay. Uh, now, next question mentioned some conditions necessary for the growth of tea plant or India is the largest producer of tea. State the climatic uh, factors necessary for its growth. It grows well under light shade. It is a shade loving plant. Okay. It weeds... Um, it needs temperature of 24 degree to 30 degree centigrade and under shade. Shade is always good for it. The tea plants grow well in humid climate and cannot stand long spell of dry weather at any time of the year. It needs heavy rainfall between 125 to 100, uh, 375, but water should be well drained. Right? Water logging and frost conditions are injurious. Okay for the uh, tea plant. Next is what are the, what are uh, tea's requirements of term, uh, you can say for soil and rainfall. Tea needs well-drained fertile soils, rich in nitrogen, sandy loamy are best for its growth. A little iron in the soil proves beneficial to the crop. Rainfall should be 150 to 250 centimeters. Okay, so this is about, um, the soil and rainfall. Now, next is state some problems of tea industry. Some uh, problems of tea industry are uh, there is enormous increase in the cost of production. Then uh, next is uh, other countries like uh, Kenya, Sri Lanka, Japan have emerged as our great competitors in tea exports. Right? And then after this, Um, what's the, uh, uh, what are tea, tea's requirements in terms of soil and rainfall? Now, uh, when we talk about tea, like uh, for soil, it needs well-drained fertile soil. That is one thing rich in nitrogen. Okay. Sandy loamy are best for its growth. So that is one thing. 
a little iron in the soil proves beneficial to the crop and rainfall range kya hona chahiye it's uh, almost you can say 150 to 250 cm of rainfall is good for it even if it goes very high because we are talking of the northeastern hills if you remember northeastern hills especially assam and all these are having a lot of uh, a, a maximum part of the area agricultural area is used for tea cultivation right to so, ab ab wahan par uh most of the time humne dekha hai ki rainfall is quite high heavy rainfall is received to wahan par kya hai wahan why uh, uh for tea cultivation it's important kyunki wahan ek condition hai bachcho rainfall to ho raha hai but because the the uh, state is mainly mountainous right okay to tea gardens hamesha slope pe banane ka purpose yahi hota hai ki rainfall hua and the water will flow away easily and once the water flows away no such problem is there with the plant okay so this is again something important for you uh, the related give reasons may come right then uh, state some problems of tea industry uh, some problems of tea industry are number one there is enormous increase in the cost of production right number two is uh, other countries kenya sri lanka japan have emerged as our great competitors okay nt export now come to next question with reference to cultivation of tea in south india name one important tea growing area important tea growing areas are nilgiri anamalai hills and all okay the slopes of that then name the most important port for export of tea cochin right cochin is uh, actually uh, important for tea tea uh, export and kochi also is important in india for this purpose the two stages are withering and uh, rolling right what do you understand by the term clonal planting again clonal planting becomes an important term here which uh, can be asked so th th these terms you should remember well okay cuttings are taken from a you can say a tea plant which is considered as like uh, we have found that the uh, wo jo pehle jo plant tha tea plant jo tha it was quite good okay uska production bhi bahut acha hai it's a healthy plant right to ab um, um usse hum kya karte hain we just take out one cutting of it right and cutting jab hum usse nikalte hain and uh, it's basically done for its special quality and flavor right to jis plant se humne cutting liya usko bolte hain mother plant mother plant because we have taken that small piece of it from that mother plant and then grown so as to produce um tea right then um, they are first grown in nurseries and a year later when they are about 20 cm high they are transplanted to the main tea gardens so this is known as clonal planting clear then come to next what is retuning give to advantage of retuning this we have done briefly explained why uh, sugarcane is increasingly grown in uh, maharashtra then uh, next is sugarcane is increasingly grown in maharashtra or southern states because of ideal geographical conditions okay the states enjoy all extra advantages of marine influence ocean winds up uh, winds help the growth of sugarcane and uh, increase the quantity of juice okay then next maharashtra has well um, planned uh, plantations and use modern uh, scientific agricultural methods okay so the capital investment is tremendous due to the sugar lobby modern sugar factories are located close to the plantations irrigation and fertilizers are uh, widely used to ensure a good crop of sugarcane next question mention any two problems which the sugarcane growers are facing sugarcane growers face several problems because of which they are unable to improve the yield and quality of sugarcane right so number one is sugarcane is a soil exhausting crop right humne pehle bhi discuss kiya tha jab uh, um, uh, jo agriculture chapter hum jab discuss kar rahe the to i had explained all this to you people right it is a soil exhausting crop so it needs enough quantity uh of uh, manure while cultivating the uh, fresh crop okay next day the farmers depend on canal irrigation for water requirements the canals are often non perennial 
and so the supply of water is uh, so the supply of water is uncertain right next question is what steps have been taken by the government to solve the problems of cane growers with reference to jute industry answer the following name to centers of this industry in west bengal kaun se do places important hai west bengal mein um kolkata and uh, havra rugs and carpets the two major problems are machinery is outdated problem of raw material these are the uh, the you can say major products and the problems of jute industry okay next is uh, tea plant why is tea considered a labor intensive crop named to states in india the leaves have to be hand picked as it needs regular pruning after 3 years tea bush becomes ready okay the skilled pluckers pluck the two leaves and uh, bud pruning and plucking is done by hand so tea is considered a labor intensive crop okay next day assam and west bengal are the two states in india where tea is widely grown the main tea producing areas of india are on the hills bordering the brahmaputra and surma valleys in assam okay it is also known uh, as actually the uh, the tea bowl of india then um, the tea is also grown in uh, darjeeling right jalpaiguri and uh, a few other districts of west bengal clear then come to next give reasons yes this is again important thing why commercial crops also known as industrial crops because these are all these are uh, since their products are used as raw materials in various industries then okay that's why these are also termed as industrial crops okay next is why does the cultivation of sugarcane require plenty of cheap labor because cultivation of sugarcane requires plenty of cheap labor as most of the work is done by hand next question why ritun cropping is popular in uh, sugarcane ritun cropping is popular in sugarcane because this gives a new crop in next uh, year without fresh uh, planting next i give reasons why sugar industry has flourished in uttar pradesh uh sugar industry has flourished in uttar pradesh basically because of uh, like climate and soil conditions are quite favorable okay and uh, besides this you can say when we talk about the the plain area the rainfall conditions all these are quite good here right then um, the yield of sugarcane is higher in the deccan give two reasons for it yield of sugarcane is higher in the deccan region because it's favorable maritime climate is seen right maritime climate is very good for it then it is free from effect of flu and winter frost and then seasonal crop as it is in the north okay sufficient irrigation and new farming techniques also help in its yield next cotton grows widely in maharashtra because 20 to 32 degrees centigrade temperature is seen almost there and at least 200 frost free days then 50 to 120 cm of rainfall well distributed during the period of growth okay abundant sunshine and no rain is required during ripening and picking uh, period right then next is why does tamil nadu raises two crops of cotton Tamil Nadu is a state which has two rainy seasons and the rainfall is moderate there is no risk of frost then um you can say it's um, um because winters are moderately cool as a result two crops of cotton can be raised right so it has um, you can say two rainy seasons two rainy seasons kaise hain tamil nadu mein aap soch karke batao zara sa ek to normal rainy season hai which we are getting during the southwest monsoon season right during that period also in, in that period also it, it is getting rainfall but not much and what is the second reason for that because we are talking about tamil nadu if you remember that is coromandel coast so the rainfall is also received during the winter season by um northeast monsoons okay then next is why is most of the work in the cultivation of cotton done by hand 
most of the work in the, the cultivation of cotton is done by hand because labor is needed for picking cotton as well as for other processes such as ginning process um, uh, ginning pressing and packing right next is why is dry weather necessary at the time of harvest it helps in ripening and bursting of cotton balls then um, why jute cultivation is most successful in west bengal ab aap soch karke dekho west bengal mein wo sari conditions available hain jo hame chahiye for jute cultivation right so because of that only west bengal is most successful for jute cultivation ab aapko agar uh, points dhyan ho to aap easily isko solve kar sakte ho likh sakte ho okay it is hot all the year round it receives um heavy rain above 200 cm and plenty of fresh soft water right so fresh soft water for retting from the tributaries of ganga all these things are basically required for jute clear then come to next question uh, why are uh, floods beneficial for the growth of jute why are floods beneficial okay floods are beneficial for the growth of jute because plenty of water is needed for the process of retting and a new soil cover is available which makes it again fertile soil next clonal planting is the best method for tea propagation what is clonal planting first with uh, this we have discussed in the earlier part cuttings are taken from a tea plant called mother plant known for its better yield right and special flavor and quality and then grown um, so as to produce tea shrubs yielding the same uh, uh, superior quality of tea so clonal planting is the best method for tea propagation clear next is tea is grown on hill slopes again this this has come many times as give reason is question kuch bachcho bahut acche se samajh lena ye abhi maine discuss bhi kiya hai aapse tea is grown on the hill slopes as it requires a moderate temperature right 18 to 28 degrees centigrade that is moderate it it never goes very high if it goes very high that is harmful for the uh, crop right and it should not go very low frost condition is again harmful for it right so a moderate temperature condition is best uh, you can say uh, suited for this crop yeah sabse ideal condition is for it moreover the hill slopes do not allow the stagnation of water suppose ye kitne bhi heavy rainfall areas ho to kya south mein nilgiri ya uh, um, anamalai hills hai ya north east mein aap dekho assam um, is uh, uh, the mountainous area only right maximum part of assam or uh, northern parts of west bengal which are known for the the tea cultivation okay tea gardens to wahan par aap dekhoge because of the slope even if rainfall is too heavy water does not remain there okay stagnation nahi hai stagnant water ya standing water nahi hai wahan par which is immediately going to harm the plant okay to wo cheez wahan par uh in natural way it's available with all the climatic conditions this point this particular thing which is present that makes it good for uh developing the tea gardens there on the slopes okay so ye ek bahut important point the hill slopes do not allow the stagnation of water which is essential for tea plants as it cannot tolerate the water logged conditions okay so uh next step is give a next question why are tea plants pruned pruning pruning is again one important term related to tea uh, cultivation okay tea plants are pruned due to two reasons right two reasons is the main reasons hote hain number one is that the removal of central stem encourages the quick development of lateral branching okay lateral branching jab hota hai to that actually makes actually more new uh, leaves come out of it okay and periodical pruning also does not allow the plant to grow more than 40 cm agar wo 40 cm se zyada high jata hai so that becomes actually difficult for the people the workers who are working there or the especially most of the cases you'll find the the ladies lady workers are there to jo bhi workers hain unki height se zyada ho jayega aur wo jab zyada bad jayega तो उस पर प्रोनिंग प्रॉपरली कर उससे जो प्लकिंग नहीं कर पाएंगे प्रॉपरली दे वॉन्ट बी एबल टू सी निच लीव दे हैव टू प्लक क्लियर तो इस वजह से ये एक बहुत बड़ा रीजन है कि उसका प्रोनिंग कर करके उसको एक लेवल तक मेंटेन करके रखा जाता है जिससे कि जो वर्कर्स हैं दे केन इजिली सी ओवर द न्यू लीव्स विच आर कमिंग आउट देर 
right? So this facilitates hand plucking, which is done mostly by the women workers there. Okay, pruning also helps in growing new shoots, bearing soft leaves in plenty, right? Acha. Then next question here, why has the export of tea declined in the foreign markets? Yes, what can be the um, answer for this? Export of tea has declined in foreign markets because of the tough competition we are facing in the foreign markets, right? International market, when you talk about quality, ko ke hai, par, uh, hai. there are many competitors in front of us. That is why this is one big reason why the export of tea from India has actually uh, not grown much, right? It is, uh, it remains there only or it is going down now. It has declined. Okay, then next is tea bushes are pruned at regular intervals. Pruning encourages the growth of new shoots with softer leaves to uh, make it possible for the fine uh, picking both there. So, right? Two tender leaves along with a small bud. When it is plucked, that is considered as the best uh, plucking. Okay, so that is only possible when we are able to see the upper part of the uh, plant, right? Now children come to the MCQs. Now uh, MCQs, mein aap dekho ke, pruning is associated with jute cultivation, cotton cultivation, tea cultivation, or sugarcane cultivation. Now you think about it. Pruning, kya pruning is um, actually leveling of the, the tea plant. Okay. So what uh, cultivation is related to tea cultivation? Ball worm is a disease associated with which cultivation, which crop it is related. Ball worm. If you can relate it a little Cotton balls, okay, cotton pol, uh, balls, cotton pods, jo hote hai, cotton balls, balls, matlab jo white cotton ke jo aapne dekhe bhi hongi, chode -chode pods hote hai, jab, uh, it is ready to get harvested, right? So, cotton pods may ball warm jo hai, develop hone ke bohat zada chances hote hai, right? This is, um, uh, you can say, a disease uh, which is very commonly seen in the cotton cultivation. So uh, I'm just telling you one word for that. Ki usse agar aap relate karke yaad rakh sako. Ball worm. Ball worm means cotton balls, cotton pods. Usse related hai. Theke? To isme aap confused nahi hoge ki koon sa cultivation mein ye uh, milta hai. Theke? To cotton cultivation is the answer of it. Next, necessary weather condition at the time of harvesting cotton. What uh, weather condition is required for harvesting cotton? It should be dry weather. Agar humid hua, ya rainy season hua, so that is going to harm the cotton pods. Okay, bright white color jo pods hote, jo, jo fibers hote, that gets immediately deteriorated. Actually, its quality goes down, leading it to develop into a brownish or yellowish uh, color of it. Okay, so to actually keep it safe during dry weather only, till the time of dry weather, uh, dry weather ends actually. Till that time, the cotton pods are taken away. The harvesting is done. Okay. Then, uh, next question is, ratooning is a term associated with ratoon cropping. Abhi humne discuss kiya tha, sugar cane cultivation mein hota hai. Ball worm is a disease associated with the cotton cultivation. The brown paper bag of wholesale trade. Kisko bolte hai? Brown paper bag. Jute. Okay. Brown paper bag. Clear? Temperature requirement for groundnut cultivation. Temperature requirement of general, dekhoge, it's uh, moderate to high uh, tem temperature range should be there. So 22 to 28 degrees centigrade is the best temperature condition for it. Next, a process of withering and fermenting are associated with tea cultivation, tea marketing, processing tea or processing mustard oil. Withering or fermenting, dono alag alag stages hai in the, not in cultivation, not even in the tea marketing, in the processing of the tea, right? Different stages are there. So, these uh, are questions hai bachcho, which are actually related to the various cash crops. And uh, uh, this is all with uh, these questions. Now, this video I uh, end kar rahi hu, or, uh, with this expectation that you prepare very well for the exam. Ke liye, or when it is done, Chapter wise, you can just have a look of these questions. You can go through these questions. So this will have, this will make you uh, revise properly the entire chapter.
ओके एक बहुत ही फास्ट क्विक रिविजन के लिए ये बहुत अच्छी तरह से आप रिवाइज कर लोगे इस तरह से ओके वेन यू विल गो थ्रू दीज वीडियोज राइट सो विश यू गुड लक एंड ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर बोर्ड एग्जाम्स अभी मैं एक दो वीडियोज और अभी अपलोड करूंगी राइट एंड स्पेशली फॉर द टाइम मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑल I must tell you a few tips, right? So that we'll discuss in the next video, right? Till then, take care of yourself and please work very hard, right? And be focused towards your studies, right? So see you soon in the next video, right? And uh, till then, bye.